right. Okay, now if I press tree, this is viewable in the right view. Now I'm just going to come over here and minimize this. And I want to add the final and third image. So left click, come down here to open. And again, go to where my images are saved and left click top come over here to open image and left select again this image is coming in on all views so if i just come over to where it says axes and all views i can change this by left clicking left select top okay i'm just going to minimize this and i'm going to press one okay and that's going to do it for this tutorial i'll see you next time goodbye hi and welcome to lecture three so in this lecture what we're going to do is add the plane and we're going to scale it down and add a mirror modifier so the mirror modifier basically mirrors everything that we do on one side to the other so it basically cuts our work in half so to begin with in this we're going to position the plane on the character's face. We're going to be basically modeling in 2D to begin with. So we're going to get a kind of an outline of the character's face as we look on directly from front view. And in a future lecture, we will split the screen and we will use a side view to get the depth in kind of a three dimension and try and shape the character's face using both those views. OK, so it's it's relatively simple. So it takes a little bit of time to select the correct points and position them in the right position. But after a little bit of practice, it gets very easy, very fast. But when you do actually get the face mask created, you can actually save that file and use it as a template for your next character. OK, so with that, let's continue where we left off in the last one. And now I can add this plane i'm just going to press n to hide that property panel to give give us a bit more space okay i'm going to press shift a and i'm going to choose mesh and left click plane i need to rotate this on the x-axis so i'm going to press r for rotation x for the x-axis nine zero and enter now i'm just going to drag this in the z direction and drag it up here I'm just going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom in I'm going to change the shading to wireframe. So I'm going to press Z and left click wireframe. I'm going to press S, scale this right down and left click when I'm happy to lock it in to that position. I'm going to drag it down again in the Z. I'm just going to press S to scale again and scale this down. Left click to lock it in. I'm going to press tab and left select edit mode. I want to put a loop cut along the Z axis. So I'm just going to press Control R and hover the mouse just up here until the loop cut goes in horizontal or sorry, vertically and left click twice to lock that in position. Now I'm going to change to face select mode. So I'm going to press Control Tab and left select face. I'm going to left click this face here and press X or delete and left select face. OK, what I want to do now is come over to this property panel and just drag this out. And under object modifier, I'm going to left click. I'm going to left click add modifier. I want to add a mirror. So I'm going to left click here. And the X axis is currently checked and that's what I want. I also want to put a check mark in clipping and I want to come up here and enable us to view it in the edit mode. OK, so now anything I do to this side will be mirrored across exactly to the opposite side. So I'm just going to press control tab and left select edge mode. I'm going to select this edge here and press E. So you can see if you drag this, it does exactly what you're doing on the opposite side. I'm just going to left click to lock that in position. Okay. Now that's set up. I'm just going to press control S and I'm going to save this so you can check you can find your location where you want to save it for the folder here and just I'm going to rename this and call it t1.blend and come over here 
left click save blend file okay and that's going to do it for this tutorial i'll see you next time goodbye hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series okay we're going to continue where we left off the last time and and i'm currently in edit mode i'm just gonna press tab come back to object mode you can select the plane press tab and left select edit mode gonna continue creating the face of this character so i want to continue extruding around the mouth so I want to press control tab and left select vertex. I'm just going to left select these, press and hold shift and select the rest of them. I just want to slightly change this. Okay, now I'm just going to, with this one selected, I'm going to press and hold shift, select this one here. Just press R slightly to rotate. I'm going to press E to extrude and extrude this out and left click to lock that in position. Okay, I'm going to press E to extrude again and left click to lock that in. I'm just going to press R to rotate slightly. Okay, I'm just going to reselect the two of these vertex by pressing and holding shift. Press E to extrude. I'm just going to press R to rotate. I'll just drag this back here slightly and just drag this in it's going to drag this down it's going to drag these down slightly they're a little bit high at the moment okay what I want to do is keep a uniform size coming around around here okay I'm just going to select the first one and shift select the second and press E to extrude. Left click when I'm happy to lock that in. I'm just going to press R to rotate. I'm just going to grab these. And it's a good idea to keep on top of the shape before you get too far or you will end up spending an awful lot of time coming back to it. So I'm just going to press and hold shift again and press E to extrude. And I'm just going to drag these right over until they lock into each other. I'm just going to drag this over slightly. I'm just going to drag this in a little bit. Press A just to deselect. I'm just going to reselect this one and drag down. Again, I'm just going to drag this one down. Okay, I'm happy with that. On the left, select the center one, press and hold shift and just select these four here. I'm going to press E to extrude and just extrude these up. Start forming the nose. Okay, just left click when I'm happy just to lock that in position. I'm just going to drag this over here slightly. I'm actually going to reselect these and just drag them down to about here. Okay, I'm going to left select this one, press and hold shift and select these and press E to extrude and just drag this up towards the top section of the nose here. Left click to lock that in position. Okay, I'm going to select the second one in, left select these and press E to extrude and extrude up to about here. Left click to lock that in. Press E to extrude again and come up to the top of the bridge of the nose. Left click to lock that in. I'm just going to maybe drag these in ever so slightly. Okay, I'm going to left select this top vertex. Press and hold shift and I'm going to press E to extrude and just extrude out slightly. I'm just going to grab this and drag it down. Gonna grab this one and drag it up. What I want to do, I'm just gonna release, right click to cancel. I'm just gonna grab this in the Z. Okay, I want to extrude 
this section around the eye so I'm going to press E to extrude and drag it down to about here I'm going to press E to extrude again and R to rotate left click when I'm happy I'm going to press E to extrude again left click to lock that in just press R to rotate I'm going to do exactly the same thing up here I'm going to press E to extrude press R to rotate slightly I'm going to press E to extrude again R to rotate I'm going to press E to extrude and R to rotate okay I'm just going to reform some of these Gonna reselect these two, press E to extrude. Gonna press se sh left select. I'm oh, sorry, I'll start again. I'm gonna left select this piece, press and hold shift and select this one, press control M and left select at last. Do exactly the same thing here. Left select this bottom one, press and hold shift and left select the top, press control M and left select at, at last. And that just joins joins those pieces up. I'm just gonna fill this section here. So I'm gonna press and hold shift and select these four vertices and just press F to fill. Press A to deselect. Okay, I'm just going to that's not looking too bad. going to left select this one here left select all these around here and this one and press E to extrude and just extrude this out and again I can just grab individual vertic vertices and drag them to try and form that consistent Okay. I'm gonna select this one, drag it up, and I'm gonna press and hold shift and select this one, and press control M and merge and left select at last. Okay, I'm just gonna grab some of these now and form these a little bit better. I'm just gonna drag left select these eyes I'm just going to pull them out so they form a little bit better and they're not on top of one another okay it's not looking too bad Okay, I'm just going to leave it there for the moment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. I am currently in edit mode. If you happen to be in object mode, you can just select the mesh, press tab and left select edit mode. Okay, I'm just going to continue on press 1 for front view I'm just going to continue on modeling more of this mask and try and get a feel for the shape of the face okay I'm going to left left select this vertex here I'm going to press and hold shift and select the, the other tree around here and just press F to fill this and I'm going to left select this one and again select all these vertexes around the bottom of the mouth and just press E again and extrude and left click just to pull them away from from where they're coming 
this will eventually be easier to 